Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 21. Uh, in the previous episode we got to see Maka becoming kind of like uh, uh, what can I say out of control not out of control but like some some type of that and uh, like the little bit of concern that I had was about soul before that is like I thought like probably like Maka would get affected by souls uh, like those black blood and uh, like if soul somehow loses control it would affect Maka that was my like thought process but like surprisingly in the previous episode the opposite happened like soul was the one who was keeping control and like ultimately Maka kind of became out of control so yeah like this was like a twist kind of like a twist which I was not expecting like obviously like uh, like I thought that uh, soul's uh, power would be a burden and would affect Maka but what can I say <laughs> like uh, it was completely the opposite I don't know what will happen next but I think like Maka is ready to kick some Ragnarok ass so yeah without further ado let's get started with episode number 21 of Soul Eater all right I'll be putting the timer and the uh, subtitles here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one go Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, we have not seen anything about. Okay, surprise attack. All right. Hmm. Oh my God! What the hell are these? <laughs> Kid and his symmetry. Oh, he is like already in her in his beast form. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> They're the same. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Like. <laughs> Like, Marga is acting pretty drunk, so <laughs> let's see what happens. <laughs> Alright. Damn, like, uh, Krona was crazy enough, and now Marka is also, like, <laughs> at par, uh, on par with him. So, like, <laughs> the, only, the, guy, the person will win who is more crazier than the other, so... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who is more crazier. <laughs> My god. <sighs> okay. So... I think Kid versus um, those two will be a lot easier because Blackstar is also with them and I don't think the Frog Witch has much power as far as I've like, uh, like observed her. So the only kind of threat is free. So like Blackstar is pretty powerful and uh, Kid as well. So I think that will be like a one, I don't know. like. I hope that will be like a one-sided fight or I don't know let's see yeah you're not symmetrical what the hell <laughs> oh no okay Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Kid's big weakness. <laughs> oh 
Mm, yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god yeah let's see <laughs> oh my god good motivation speech that <laughs> Oh my god, this guy. Oh. What the hell? <laughs> oh, wait, what? Why? Deadpool Jackson? What? Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, she's drunk. Okay. Oh my. All right. All right. Well. Oh my god. Um, oh, okay. Um, oh, <laughs> what the hell? Um, yeah. To nullify souls. Corona is creeped out. What the hell? Like, this is some serious stuff. <laughs> well, it is working. I'll <laughs> what? The what? Um. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. Is that a soul? Soul? Yeah, it's souls. Oh, that is. Deep thirst. Hmm. Okay. Whoa. What is this? Oh, is this like Krona's? Yeah. 
like inner consciousness okay cat versus mouse <laughs> damn this oh damn she's what what's that some motivational song okay wait um <laughs> oh my god they're combining what the hell What? <laughs> what is <laughs> um, no, he's not dead. All right. Demon sword child after Yeah. With no independence. Yeah, like is Krona really like this her kid? Um Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> well, yeah, he is like kind of, yeah, because like he likes, loves her daughter so much and <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay. There's a circle. <coughs> hmm. Oh my god, the sun. Sun is sleeping or what? Okay. Oh, that's Ragnarok. 
isn't it or something else What? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. First kill. Oh yeah, that uh, dragon, little dragon. Then Wait, like, um, yeah, like, wow. he's talking as if What is that? Like, is this some kind of... Oh my god! <laughs> oh, so cute! <laughs> oh, so like he is kind of isolating himself and like sheltering his like sanity or whatever not sanity but uh, Oh my god! Wait, what did she do? Like... I have to think about this later on. Like, there were a lot of symbolism in it.
Okay, thank God. Okay, she's back. What? Oh my Oh no But what about Ragnarok? Like it's just nobody come to me. Okay. Okay, so In, like in a few words he was socially awkward that was just it like that was his problem okay th there's water in it all right like the dried up Fear of being close to people. Mm. Oh, this one, the ending is like changed. All right, so as far as I understood, like, um, Krona was like sheltering himself, like, uh, her, uh, uh, like his inner, what can I say? Um, inner self, like uh, the inner that that like let okay, let me just simplify it more. Uh, the corona that we saw inside, that small corona, that was uh, probably his soul, uh, like a personified version of his soul. So like, like he was making a demarcation. Uh, like uh, what can I say? Uh. A marking where he would be like keeping himself uh, closed and sheltered and uh, things like that like uh, he was like as, as I said like he was running away from whatever he was doing outside so uh, so I think like that demarcation had to be uh, like broken down for him to be free or something like that Okay. Is it over? Yeah, it's over. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, so like I don't know, like uh, I think that was most probably the thing that they were trying to say. Uh, like he was 
like running away from uh, like uh, as Saul said later on like fear of being close to people uh, he was running away and like not trying to uh, like talk and understand others uh, because of obviously because of Medusa's treatment previously and uh, that kind of like made a fear inside him to like uh, like expect something but one thing I did not like properly uh, understand was like what happened to Ragnarok like previously like uh, like each like uh, like each and every time we always saw like Ragnarok coming out and like hitting him and stuff like those but like during Maka and uh, Kronos interaction like Ragnarok never came out and uh, like there's something that he said later on like um, just a sec like I know I'm not needed anymore when Maka was hugging him uh, I knew for a while but it's okay I'll just disappear and then like uh, his what can I say uh, his facial expression expression changed so like was that Ragnarok disappearing or like what was that like was Ragnarok some kind of a split personality and the thing that was talking with him inside his soul uh, that uh, shadow thing uh, like like is that like connected to uh, Ragnarok some way or some uh, like this is stuff that I'm a bit confused because like uh, during all of this interaction and stuff happening Ragnarok like we never saw Ragnarok so and like he said that I'll disappear and then he like became uh, like normal so was that Ragnarok disappearing or something like that like that is like the only little bit of confusion I have and uh, otherwise uh, yeah th this was like a s kind of a little uh, what can I say symbolic this whole episode uh, stuff that were happening uh, obviously this is this like this was symbolic because this is like uh, is dealing with uh, the soul uh, the soul is itself is like an abstract thing so Obviously, this episode was like uh, the stuff that were happening in this episode were more symbolic and abstract. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, so okay, so this was the the, uh, the whole episode. Episode uh, I thought like Maka would probably like beat him up, but like uh, surprisingly, this took a re like uh, a different turn this episode, and it was nice and. Uh, <clears throat> Like, as I said before, uh, the imp or the devil inside the uh, soul, he was telling in the previous episode that I'm in the lead here. This In this episode as well, like, I'm in the lead here, I'm controlling each and everything. But I've said this in the previous episode as well. Like, if he really was in the lead here, he wouldn't have asked soul to use his power. He would have, like, gone berserk himself and, uh, like, forced soul to use the power. He didn't, like, uh, that concealed power. So like uh <clears throat> he has to ask soul to yeah use my power so so that he can like take control and stuff like that so in the end the main control is obviously with soul so soul was able to uh like bring maka back from uh, her <clears throat> like insanity or whatever that was and uh, <clears throat> excuse me and uh, yeah and another new fight has probably been going to start that is Blair versus <laughs> that like uh, like that uh, fused, fused mice those the fusion of those mice <laughs> and <laughs> okay like uh, I've not seen uh, Blair properly fight before we've not seen her fight before did we yeah I don't think we've seen a proper fight with the uh, like in which Blair was participating so yeah, we'll probably see some new moves and new powers and stuff in the upcoming episodes. And uh, oh, and uh, the thing with um, Black's uh, Black, uh, not Black's uh, uh, kid with kid. Uh, the thing that happened with kid. Uh, I was saying this before that uh, kid and Black Star they are like the most powerful. 
and uh, blaster himself is quite powerful uh, not as not as, obviously not on par with kid but they like he is catching up to kid so i thought that uh, maybe the fight between black star uh, kid and uh, um, versus the frog witch and free will be a lot one sided and they would be like easily victorious obviously because kit and black star are there and in the previous like uh, previously when they had a fight with free uh, they kind of defeated him uh, one versus one so i was thinking like maybe this will be a lot like one sided but i forgot one thing that is kid's weakness like that is some what can i say like here's the thing um <laughs> like because of this weakness we can't even really like uh say like uh, judge a fight like for example uh let me just take an example uh, if like kid fights with uh let's see a person who is almost like uh, uh a lot uh, weaker than him uh like kid has kids uh 20 percent power if he's fighting with him but he, like somewhere else in some part of his body something hmm, is like asymmetrical not symmetrical kid is going to lose to that guy because obviously not lose but he, like that will be a big disadvantage for kid because of his like <laughs> weird weakness <laughs> So we can't even like guess whether Kit is going to win a match based on power level. Like anything can happen. Uh, <coughs> Kit himself is pretty powerful. So like to like tone down his power or like to make him like more um, what can I say less powerful or like uh, balanced. Uh, I think <laughs> the author gave him this weakness. <laughs> like. Kid himself is so powerful that he had to be nerfed and like like a, a, a weakness like this had to be given to him otherwise like he would have like easily won each and every match so yeah um, I'm taking back my previous uh, like what can I say guess I think uh, the match will be like a lot uh, like balanced obviously because kid has his weakness and <clears throat> I'm guessing and I'm sure like this will happen kid will like get distracted later uh, on with uh, the fight with free as well because of some some kind of uh, symmetrical problem he's definitely going to get like distracted or like uh, <laughs> yeah he is going to get distracted I'm get, like uh, saying this now only like I'm sure he's going to get distracted some way or the other and like uh, like that will like, bring out bring down their power by a lot uh, so yeah like that will be a like same level fight even though the power level of kid and black star like heavily like surpasses free and that frog witch so <laughs> yeah and <clears throat> what else was in this episode uh, let's see oh we got a little uh, pep talk from uh, what's his name her name patty yeah patty like the, like <laughs> out of the Thompson sisters, Patty is so random. Like she's just so random. Like I, like I can't get. Like no one can guess what she's going to do or say <laughs> in the next few minutes. <laughs> My God. Like, uh, and uh, yeah, what else? Uh, yeah, that was the episode. And uh, as I was, like as I said that. Uh, I think most probably like Krona was somehow like running away from uh, facing his fears and uh, like that mark or that uh, like <coughs> marking that round marking the place where he was saying that this is my area and uh, like that so I think that was like uh, his way of running away and uh, sheltering himself from facing the problems and all so when Marka erased that line <coughs> he like somehow he was like freed from his uh, like confinement from his prison inside his soul and <coughs> because of that somehow he like went berserk for a few seconds and uh, um, 
like like uh, after that he like uh, became all right and uh, when they said that uh, when Kron said that okay I'll disappear I don't know I, well like I think that was was that Ragnarok I, I don't I don't know anyways we'll probably like uh, get a few more answers in the upcoming episodes because even though like this episode <coughs> like uh, like even though this episode made a few things clear and a lot of things were not properly answered uh, or even if it was answered I was unable to understand uh, so I'm guessing like uh, in, a, in the upcoming few episodes we'll probably get all our answers and what exactly happened with Ragnarok like the thing with Ragnarok is uh, a bit confusing from the very beginning as well like that uh, like Ragnarok, Krona and all of those stuff so yeah like uh, like we've seen what Ragnarok is and I like up until now I have thought about Ragnarok as like some kind of like a weapon like uh, like the, like soul has a soul like soul is a weapon uh, just like that I thought Ragnarok, so Ragnarok was something like that and uh, but now I'm a bit confused like what exactly is Ragnarok and uh, like uh, in from the f f flashback we saw that Ragnarok was like uh, with uh, Krona from the very beginning and like when he was like experimented upon uh, not experimented uh, like when he was like uh, <coughs> yeah experimented upon kind of by uh, his mo mother Medusa and uh, stuff like those happened uh, Ragnarok was there so yeah like like that was a bit uh, like a, miss the, the mystery surrounding Ragnarok is quite like unclear to me at least uh, so yeah okay so yeah this episode was quite good um, and Krona is I'm hoping Krona like is out of the fight now and uh, two fights left uh, one is uh, with um, Medusa and versus uh, Stein and the other one free uh, the frog witch and uh, black star kid so um, yeah i'm guessing like they won't be able to unless and until like they do some kind of like they have some trick up their sleeves uh, guessing by the power level i doubt they'll be able to win against uh like this team like the uh, like our team so i think like they will probably like have some kind of trick like final trick up their sleeves and i don't know because like like uh, however i'm like so in whichever angle i'm seeing this like excuse me this team that is like souls team is a lot more powerful than uh, the other team so like I'm thinking like how can they like make this a lot more like uh, same leveled so obviously that is not like uh, I'm not saying that uh, Medusa is weak but Medusa is up against two of the best that is Stein and uh, Death Scythe like Death Scythe the uh, weapon which uh, Shinigami principal himself uh, uses like that Death Scythe and uh, like however strong Medusa is and Stein one of the like uh, best uh, one of the best masters from his era so however strong Medusa is that will be I don't know like that will be I, like a bit I don't know I really don't know what type of power Medusa has or and um, and the other in the other team we have like Blackstone and uh, uh, Kid so yeah obviously Kid is uh, Shinigami principles uh family member and he himself is a uh, shinigami so yeah he is pretty powerful as well and we've already seen a li little bit of his power like he can do soul resonance each and everything and yeah so i'm quite curious like how they're going to pull this off without like one team becoming too overwhelmingly powerful so yeah that is something that we're going to see so yeah guys that was this episode uh, yeah, that was a nice episode, nice little episode, and uh, hopefully Krona will like join uh, our team, and uh, like I don't know, L let's see what happens. 
so yeah guys if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't seen the uh, haven't subscribed uh, that helps a lot and uh, be sure to comment down below anything you want to share anything you want to say i'll be sure to check them out and uh, i'll be back with a new soul eater episode after one day so yeah so until then goodbye and have a nice day